What's up guys? It's me. I look literally bald. My wig is not on correctly. My edges should be flying off by now. And I look like a ghost because all I have on is brows and concealer. So y'all know what that means. <laughs> Halloween is officially over. I want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support on my Halloween looks this year. I did three and then I also did two last minute ones if you guys want to check those videos out. But Halloween is over. On November 1st, Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star decided to drop their palette. Where I live, the Morphe store just opened a couple of months ago, and I didn't think that that many people were invested into YouTube culture, so I decided to wake up 30 minutes before launch. I woke up at like 9.30, got out of my dorm room, went to the mall. I got there about three minutes past 10 o'clock when the mall is supposed to open, and there was already a line. I was only in line for about 45 minutes, but by the time I got into the store after the 45 minutes, everything was already sold out except for the big conspiracy palette so I ended up picking up this conspiracy palette also y'all know I did not have enough money for the entire collection anyway so your broke sis just got the conspiracy palette I don't think I've ever talked about this on my channel but I literally love Shane Dawson anybody that knows me in real life I literally watch his videos almost every single day my freshman year of college probably was if not was the worst year of my entire life and every single day when I was sad I would look at this video by Shane Dawson it's called Chris Jenner cooking show oh hi I didn't see you there it's me <laughs> oh wow yuck I mean hi it's me Chris Jenner I used to laugh at that video every single day and that was like the only thing that was pushing me through going to college my freshman year so I have so much love and respect for Shane Dawson I also like Jeffree Star but I have more of a connection with Shane Dawson I always have I always will and I will support virtually anything that he does I never got his merch from before but I really wanted his new like revamped merch with the pigs on it but it was sold out y'all sold it out and it didn't drop on my payday so y'all already know how I feel but regardless I got my hands on the conspiracy palette y'all know your girl has been keeping up with the series and the amount of work thought love that went into this palette I honestly wouldn't expect anything less from Jeffree Star Cosmetics I do have basically every eyeshadow palette that he's come out with besides his first two the beauty killer and the androgyny but I have every other one and his formula is literally unmatched I think he is one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas that I own so let me shut up let me open this palette for you guys I actually did swatch this earlier so I will insert those swatches right here Okay, so this is what the palette looks like. You guys all know what it looks like. You've seen the series. I've seen the series. Let's get to business. This packaging, honestly. Okay, I don't even know if I should call this a review because y'all already know that I'm gonna like it. This packaging? Can we talk about this packaging? Jeffree Star Cosmetics has probably one of the most unique packaging I've ever seen in cosmetics, period. That's on period. So when I saw if they were collabing, I knew that the packaging was gonna be out of the park and this definitely took it there. This took it to a whole other level. So you open up the clasp like this and then here is the palette. Look how pretty she is. Now, I saw a lot of stuff because I am filming this on November 3rd, today's Sunday. I got this on November 1st. I was going to try to film it on Monday, tomorrow, because I didn't know that y'all were going to be so vicious and ferocious in the YouTube section. I saw like 80 million reviews on November 1st and I was like, damn, I am late. Like, I feel late to the party now. But I did see a lot of comments of people with medium 
and darker skin tones saying that this looks like it will be ashy on them or it looks like it's gray tones. You guys saw the swatches for yourself. I consider myself a medium to dark skin tone. I feel like I'm in the middle and I personally don't see this being gray ever. I personally have never felt that any of Jeffree Star's palettes that I own were ever gray toned on me. Even the Blue Blood palette, I believe that that color story is flattering on my skin tone. I think all of this are flattering on my skin tone. So you guys saw the swatches. I honestly, this palette is so unique from any of my other palettes that I have and y'all know I have a crap ton of palettes if y'all saw my palette collection and my makeup collection I have too many. But I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, so I'm going to play it safe. Y'all know how I do. I always start out with a transition shade that is kind of like an orangey shade. Um, I kind of want to use cheese dust, but if I'm being honest, I have my little facts on my phone. I wrote this down last night, this way I would not forget to tell you guys. So, before I jump into this, let me give you guys some facts. This palette has 18 shades. It retails for $52. I didn't get the whole collection. I don't know how much the whole collection costs. Um, because I was honestly scared for my life that I wasn't gonna get this so I just grabbed this and ran out the store. It is $52. It contains pressed pigments and eyeshadow. I do want to mention that on the back of this it does say that cheese dust, sleep paralysis, food videos, my pills, Trisha, not a fact, flaming hot, pigment, all of those shades are not intended for the immediate eye area. Basically I am assuming that all of these shades are highly concentrated or pressed pigments. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure companies have to say that it's not intended for the immediate eye area if it is a pressed pigment. All he's basically saying is that those have the potential to stain. If you guys saw my blood sugar or my blue blood review, you guys know that it's very hard to stain my eyes because of the pigmentation in my skin. It's easy to kind of get a little bit of a stain on my arm when I do swatches. With the second row of swatches that I did earlier, I did have a little bit of staining on my arm, but it quickly wiped away. It never really lingers for me. But anybody that is lighter than me, I could totally see how that could be a concern. You don't want to have a red eye the next day. So that is something to consider. For me, I always just breeze over that because it's not really a problem for me. This palette is available on JeffreeStarCosmetics.com, Morphe.com, and Morphe Stores, Beautylish, and I was just watching Soph Does Nails. She said that it's also available on Beauty Bay. The two colors that gave me trouble when I was swatching were Food Videos and Cheese Dust, so that is that bright bright neon yellow and that orange right there and that's all I have to say about this palette so let's just hop in I'm indecisive I'm gonna start out with the Morphe M441 y'all know how I do let's start out with diet root beer so that is that shade right there and I have seen a lot of people that are a little bit lighter than me and my skin tone start out with the shade for their transition so I want to see how it works on me now, if you did see that, or if you see in the pan, there is a little kickback in the pan. I expect that with his shadows. I think I said that in my Jawbreaker review as well. And the fact that there is kickback in the pan just shows me that these are soft shadows. First of all, they're not hard or extremely pressed. I don't feel like it's that wasteful of a product, but if you have a problem with kickback, I could totally see how that's annoying. So I just want to mention that. Let me use this as a transition shade. You can totally see this showing up on my skin tone. It is not ashy. Ashy wear, literally. So I'm just going to blend this out and then I am going to go into the next shade. Okay, I'm still having a hard time deciding. When I was swatching, I definitely know that I gravitate towards this middle row right here, but you guys have seen that look on me so many times. I'm thinking of going outside my comfort zone, and I'm thinking of playing with this bottom row. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M433. It's just a tapered little packer blending brush. I'm going to go, I'm so scared. I'm so scared, y'all. Y'all know I don't really mess with like the cool tone colors. I'm a warm tone type of hoe, but I think I'm gonna go into the shade Not A Fact, which is that like dark cranberry purple shade. I think I'm gonna put this in my inner and outer corners and pray. Oh, she's, she's pigmented. She is definitely pigmented, but why am I surprised? While I am packing the shade on, 
I don't see any fallout underneath my eye. Now y'all know, how many reviews have I done? Like 80 million reviews and y'all know I literally could care less about fallout underneath my eye. That's why I only start out with my eyebrows done because I always take a makeup wipe regardless of if it's there or not. I wipe away underneath my eye. But I know a lot of people do care about fallout. Jeffree Star shadows are notorious for having fallout in my opinion. They usually always have fallout on me, but I never have a problem with it. So I feel like a lot of people, I feel like the consumer is split where half of these people already know how Jeffree Star's formula and shadows and pigments are. And then the other half of people are simply buying this because they love Shane Dawson. I'm in the middle, but if you only bought this because you love Shane Dawson and you're not familiar with his shadows, they do tend to have fallout, which I personally am okay with because I always wipe it away anyway, but I always like to mention it because I know that some people hate it. Okay, so this is what my eyes are looking like right now. What I think I'm going to do, um, I'm going to try to use as many shades as I can, logically, but I just am so torn because you guys know that I love these middle row types of shades, but I'm really trying to branch into this dark, deep last row. So I think I'm going to use the shade Pigment. It is that pink shade right there, and I'm just going to use that to sort of diffuse the top part of my eye. So kind of blend these two purples together and blend with that transition shade that I first started with. Another thing, that one has a lot of fallout in the pan. These shades, you literally do not have to dip in that much. I know people that are darker in complexion are like, well, I have to dip in further. Perfect example, a lot of Morphe palettes, I could literally just keep digging and digging and digging and it won't be too much with Jeffrey's, believe him when he says, extreme payoff. Like literally, you do not need that much. And you can literally see how easy that diffused. You guys can see the difference between this eye and this eye. I literally only blended that for two seconds. Many people say that it's hard to blend his shadows. I feel like you're using too much product. Literally just tap your brush and then put it on your eye. If you use too much, it's definitely going to be hard to blend everything out, especially with this extreme pigment. A little goes a long way with his shadows. And I'm not using the shade for pigment necessarily. You can totally see a little bit of that pink haloing over top, but I'm mainly using this just to blend those harsh purple. But that is what we're looking like right now. I really wanna use Illuminati or Illuminati <laughs> or sleep paralysis, which are both very huge fears. Why, Shane? Like, I just can't with Shane. I honestly think I'm gonna go in with Illuminati. So I'm gonna take the shade Illuminati. This is a shade that y'all know I would literally never use in everyday life. And I'm gonna go with my finger. Look at that pigment. Honestly, like, look at it. Look at that! I'm gonna hold my breath. And I'm going to put this on the middle of my eye. Ooh, that's very, very cute. Y'all know I'm kind of panicking inside because this is very dark for me, but I'm gonna put it in the middle. I'm low-key liking this. I thought I was going to hate it because y'all know I don't do these dark ass colors, but I'm feeling it. I am feeling like Disney villain fantasy. So that's on there. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Not Effects and I'm just going to re-deepen up those inner and outer corners. Now going back in with the M441, I'm not taking any additional product. I'm just going to lightly go over the top of my eye a little bit. And now to deepen this up a little bit more, I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush. This is the Morphe E36. And I'm gonna go into the shade My Rides here, which we all know was supposed to be my Ubers here, but we're gonna go with it. This is the black. Now I have seen a lot of people say that this black is not like a pure black. It's a little bit lighter than a normal black. That is perfectly okay for this because all I'm going to do, all I'm using the shade for is to blend in these edges on the side of my halo. And I'm not going for an extreme dark look, so I'm just going to be using literally a tap of it.
Okay, so this is what I'm looking like real crazy. I'm gonna go. My nose always itches every time I film a makeup video and I don't know why. I'm gonna go back in with this brush and I'm just going to blend this out with no additional product. So y'all know me, I'm going to do an inner corner highlight. I'm gonna do some lower lash shadow. But first, I'm gonna do my base and I'm also going to apply lashes. These are the Flutter Lashes in the style Lovable. So I'm going to be applying these and then I'm gonna be doing my base. I'm gonna speed through that and then we'll come back to do the lower lash and the inner corner. So this is what my base is looking like. I have everything on except for my lower lash eyeshadow, mascara, and my lips, of course. So I'm going to go back into the Conspiracy palette. And I think I'm going to take the shade, not a fact, which is that dark cranberry purple. And I'm going to be using a pencil brush. I think I'm going to use this E18 by Morphe and I'm just going to dip into this and I'm going to just smoke that out on my bottom lash line. I definitely thought that I was going to need the shade pigment to smoke this out but if you use a very light hand the shade not a fact is soft enough to be a lower lash shadow with no additional product so I am pretty happy with the way this turned out I am going to do an inner corner highlight y'all know how I do I cannot go without an inner corner highlight I know I just used a gold Highlight. I am going to do an inner corner highlight that is silver though because I am literally dying to use this shade Diet Cola. I've been looking at it ever since it came out and there's no way I'm going to do this review without using this. So I am going to take the shade Diet Cola on this pencil brush. This is a Morphe M431 and I highly doubt I'm going to need water for this. 
Yep, literally don't. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Like, I literally only tap my eye and look at that. That's... This is insane. I'm sorry. Okay, this is the completed eye look. Honestly, guys, for my comfort zone, this look is insane. Like, I would definitely wear this again. This is so out of my range. I would never put these colors together normally. And this palette really made me go out of my comfort zone. I love the way this turned out. This is giving me a Disney villain, Ursula vibes to the max. This is everything. Okay, I'm going to do my lips now. I'm gonna go for a neutral lip. Y'all know how I do. I can't go that far out of my comfort zone. And I actually didn't get a chance to pick up any of their liquid lip sets. When I was looking on the series, I don't think I would use any of the liquid lips, to be honest. Um, they're really, really crazy colors, and I'm more of a neutral hoe. Y'all know me when it comes to my lip. I always go for... Now, recently, I'm starting to go for this brown liner a lot. This is a Jeffree Star liner. It's a lip liner in the shade Dominatrix. I got this in one of my, I think it was one of my mystery boxes, and I have been using it ever since. I then go in with the NYX Lip Tease. This is in the shade Beyond Basic. And then in the center, I always go in with Jeffree Star. This is the shade Mannequin. This is my go-to lip combo, and I've been using it for the past couple of months. Okay guys, so this is the completed look that I came up with. I am in love with the way the eyes turned out. I really thought it was going to be something that I did not really like because y'all know I don't mess with cool tones. I don't mess with these dark purples and greens. This is everything. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see. This is what the eyes are. Oh my god, I forgot mascara again. Y'all know me. Y'all really know me. I always forget to apply mascara. <laughs> I love the way this turned out. You guys can totally see the effortless blend in these eye looks. I mean, look at that shadow. There is no line of demarcation. There is nothing. If you guys did not get the palette, I'm so, so sorry, but I think I've heard rumors that they are going to be, they're either going to restock or they're going to order more units on November 4th. I don't know if that's true or false. Don't tell me if it is false. I am planning on getting the mini controversy palette. I don't know if I'm going to be getting the lips because like I said, I don't really think they're going to flatter my skin tone. I don't really go for those colors anyway. I totally wish they would have come out with a highlighter because I would have been on that. The conspiracy palette, obviously I love it I love Shane Dawson so much he's helped me through so much without even knowing it he's helped so many people he inspires so many people I love him so much I like Jeffree Star cosmetics I think Jeffree Star as a person is very entertaining um and I like his cosmetics a lot say what you want about him but his cosmetics show through he never half asses anything and I think that they literally knocked it out the park with this one this is probably one of my favorite palettes by him as far as wearability I really love blood sugar but this is a commodity like this is something that people are going to want to keep forever this is a collector's item this is literally a piece of internet history in a sense like we watched it be created it's kind of like everyone on the internet's little child because we watched we were there for the process this is the closest that the consumer has ever come to to knowing the ins and outs of makeup i think ever as far as i'm concerned and the fact that we went along with this journey i feel like this palette even if you don't really do makeup i feel like a lot of people just bought this palette because they feel like they are a part of something bigger this palette aside from it being a shane and jeffrey product i would still buy this palette because I think that it has a lot of possibilities, a lot of uniqueness inside of it, and it's definitely a color story that I haven't seen before. And honestly, the packaging, who do you know in the cosmetics industry that's doing packaging like this? I really hope that if you didn't get this palette, you were able to get it when it relaunches. I hope everyone is able to get everything because I know that Shane thought that it wasn't going to sell out, which, come on sis, 
We all knew that I was going to sell out. I was scared that I wasn't even going to be able to get it when I walked inside the store. I hope you guys enjoy the series and I cannot wait. I think they have like a million episodes left. They're not even done yet. So I cannot wait for the rest of the series to come out. I love this palette. I love Shane Dawson. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this review review y'all know it's just basically a testing honestly i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and subscribing to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye don't want good enough, don't want good enough, I want... my wig is uneven my edges are actually going to fly away and i look like a ghost because all i have on is brows thank you that's beautiful dark purples and greens but this 